DIY Hydra Boost brackets are now available on my website. You can click in the video description. There'll be a link on where you can purchase. I have two styles available. This is Hydra Boost and T56 for a 68 to 72 GM A body vehicle. And then I have DIY brackets for Hydra Boost only. And this will fit the vehicle I mentioned. And also it'll fit a ton of other GM applications. Obviously I didn't fit them all or try them all, but what you can do is I have this template and if it fits on the firewall, then most likely this thing will work. I mean, GM is known for being uh, compatible across a lot of models and, and interchangeable and whatnot. So a lot of their design uh, stuff is the same throughout the years. So let's talk about both of these. Um, let's just back up for a second. Like a year ago, I came out with the prototype brackets and whatnot. And I had T56 only, I had the Hydro and T56 combo, and then I had the Hydro Boost only. No one seems to want the T56 only. I think that's because someone already has that out there or whatever, but mainly if you're building a car, you want a better uh, trans and you want better brakes. So that's why the combo, a lot of people are interested in this. And then others were interested in this. So these are the two that I'm coming out with, but let's back up for a second and talk about what Hydra Boost is. Hydra Boost is power brakes assisted by hydraulics from the power steering pump. Normally, most cars have a vacuum booster. Um, the problem is when you build an engine, you put a bigger cam in it, it produces less vacuum, so therefore vacuum brakes aren't as good. And Hydra Boost is known to generate higher line pressures, therefore your brakes will work better. So Hydra Boost is awesome. I've had it on this car for over a year, 1,000, 1,500 miles, and it's freaking awesome. Tap the pedal and it, it, just, it just works. And I also have Corvette brakes on here, so the package or the whole deal works awesome. Okay, so why I came up with these brackets is because it doesn't seem like you can buy them. You can't just buy the bracket. There's no one that makes just a Hydra Boost bracket and they'll sell it to you. Um, there used to be a guy that would sell a billet bracket, which would cost $100, but then you also need a special socket, a $100 socket to tighten the Hydra Boost nut to the bracket. With this design here, no special tools required. Actually, you need, you probably don't have a wrench that big. So what I use is a $16 crow foot to tighten the nut on the back of this bracket here. And I'll show you that. Uh, I'll B-roll some video for that. So that's number one. You don't need a $100 socket. And then these brackets cost less than the billet. The billet piece looks nice. However, um, you know, these are less expensive. Also, even if you mount the Hydra Boost with the billet bracket, you still got to address the T56 option or the, cl the clutch master cylinder. And there's no combo bracket out there that exists that has the Hydra Boost and the T56 or master cylinder bracket. So um, a lot of people have stacked them and whatnot, but anyway, I designed this so you just install it. It holds everything. Clearance is excellent. Another problem is, yeah, sure, you can go buy a Hydra Boost kit. Comes with everything you need. Costs a thousand to twelve or thirteen hundred dollars, depending on what you want as far as options. If you buy this bracket and all the parts I list in my instructions, you come out half the cost, and it's the same stuff. It's the same parts. I mean, the Hydra Booster is made by GM. You know, these these Hydra Boost companies buy it, they modify it, and they sell it to you for for more money. That's that's fine and all, but I just wanted to reduce the cost a little bit. Another nice thing about these this bracket that I have here, so so it's actually a sub bracket and then this flat plate which is bolted on here. So this plate right here, it's symmetric and it keys the Hydra Booster and you can clock it 180 one way or another, however it suits for your application. Uh, so if it's in the car like this against the firewall, uh, a lot of people are gonna have it where the accumulator is over here and the lines come underneath, but you can, you can flip it 180 if you want whatever you whatever works for you but i find that the accumulator up here gives you the most valve cover clearance and it, i actually like how the lines come underneath 
Um, but again, that's that's up, totally up to you on how you run that. But you have that option of flipping it with this universal plate. Okay, so these brackets are steel. They are laser cut CNC bent on a brake made here right in Chicago. Um, so basically this plate comes with either version that you buy. Okay, so here's Hydro Boost only. And you can see that this plate gets bolted to the Hydro Booster and you can flip it 180 this way or that way, whichever way you want for clearance. Okay, and then these, these brackets bolt together like so. And this hardware here is included. So you get four bolts, four nuts. Okay, or it can fit on here. Okay, so this is specific to GMA bodies, 68 to 72. This here, uh, I'm gonna call it universal. It will fit other GM models. So what I've come up with is there's a template that you can download and it says this side up, this side faces you. So you're gonna have to cut out all the holes and you're gonna be left with something like this, okay? Now I put some dimensions on here, verify this with the ruler to make sure it's good because sometimes printers uh, do goofy things. So just so you make sure you get uh, the proper scale. Okay, so here is this bracket that needs to meet up with the firewall. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this piece of paper which matches the backside needed for clearance and you're gonna take this over to the firewall and see if it matches up the four holes, this hole in the center, and if your firewall is flat within this area. If it is, then this bracket should work just fine for you. Okay, so I removed my whole Hydra Booster T56 stuff. It's all just laying here because I want to explain uh, how this kind of goes together. Or if you want to check the fitment to see if your vehicle is compatible with this Hydra Boost only bracket. So you got your template and what you want to do is you want to put it over the four posts, four studs. And you want to just make sure it fits, you know, the bolt holes line up and then push it all the way flat against the firewall and as you can see that that area of the firewall is completely flat and the bracket should work. So if I just put the bracket right over it, you can see that's how it fits and it looks good. And what's cool is it still clears the wiring harness and whatnot. Um, so yeah, this is Hydra Boost only. It tilts it at six degrees up and uh, it clears, there's plenty of clearance here to valve covers and whatnot. So um, simple solution, not too expensive, DIY style and so forth. So that's how you measure for the bracket to see if this one will work. Okay, and just for giggles, let's put this one on. This is the one I'm using because I have both Hydra Boost and T56. So this slides on just like so. And you can see the push rod hole for the clutch uh, that goes from the clutch pedal comes right through here and this is where the master cylinder is located. There is a little bit of firewall trimming required right here, just a little bit. Uh, and I will weld on a little more to this plate and that's all in an effort to get that push rod as straight as possible. I mean, it's super straight, laser straight, no side loading of the wall of the master cylinder because some brackets uh, do that. They reposition it where it's not a straight shot. So this is straight as can be. All right, so that's that's how this bracket looks. Then the flat plate goes here, and it's pretty simple. Okay, so we have the plate here mounted in a vise. I have my hydro booster. There's a slot here that lines up with the key. that in there and then your large nut goes over here so this is where that special socket comes in in other designs and you know I'm not paying hundred dollars for a socket that's for sure so this is what I'm using a one and seven eighths crow foot cheapest option to do this okay use your half inch ratchet and just tighten it down Work it to spec. Alright, so here's what the finished installed piece looks like. This is the Hydra Boost and T56.
All right, well, that's it for this video. If you're interested in these brackets, there'll be a link in the video description below where you can purchase it directly from my website.